so today we're going to be talking about my uh, car copter that was my project three, four years ago. And yeah, we're going to talk about um, an in-depth look at how this works and some of the components involved. Okay, so this is the car copter up close and it's a little old and kind of falling apart, but we can still explain how it works. So there are three main parts to this, the car part, the sliders, and then the flying part. So we can explain those uh, individually. So the first part is the car part over here. And these are four uh, metal gear motors from Palulu and they are mounted with epoxy. And um, on each of them is a omni wheel that looks like this. And it's a wheel that turns this way, but also has rollers on this side that roll this way. And if you put them in a configuration like this, they are able to move in any direction and also rotate on itself. So that's um, really useful for mobility and that's why we use them. And here's just some Velcro for where the batteries go. And uh, these wires go into the, these holes down here and go through this hole and goes into this motor control down here, if you can see. And that's a little chip. That's the um, L293D uh, H-bridge that looks kind of like this. And you can look up how to wire that up. And those wires, all of those wires are the yellow wires here. And they go into the uh, Arduino Mega that's down here. And I'll explain uh, a brief thing about how the Arduino Mega works uh, a little later. So that's the car part. Then in the, uh, the quadcopter part, there are four uh, quad motors here. They're from Aero Sky, and they are um, 980 kV. And on these motors are 10 inch props, and they go into 25 amp motor controllers. Um, and these motor controllers are put into this flight control board. Uh, this is the Hobby King uh, flight control board um, right here. So uh, yeah, and that's the flying part. And then the sliders, um, I took them off, but these are the motors. These are micro metal gear motors, also from Palulu, with their wheels that they also sell. And these um, are mounted on this side. So they go here with epoxy, and then the wheels, as they turn, will extend these uh, sliders like this. And these are 3D printed sliders. So that's essentially how this works. Um, so what the Arduino does is it takes the signals from this transmitter and goes into this receiver up here. And these uh, signals, these PWM signals, go all, all into this Arduino Mega. And what the Arduino does is it checks the state of this potentiometer here. And if it's past a certain point, then it's in car mode. So all of these signals it will go into controlling the car motors. And once they are switched past another point, then the sliders, the Arduino knows to take these sliders out and to forward all of the signals from the receiver to this uh, flight control board, which has all of the accelerometers and um, all of the uh, capabilities to, to operate this as like a normal quadcopter. So yeah, that's essentially how this works. Thank you for watching, and if you have any 
questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below and I can answer them. See you.